Hey and welcome back to the second part of creating a train station scene. Today we will do some texturing, so let's jump right in. Okay, here we are now in our scene and now let's texture this one. Um, first, I think we are going to add some textures to our pillars. So let's get rid of our geometry node setup and enable here this pillar right now. And yeah, let's hit into shading and maybe let's hide here the ceiling and the subway cars. Um, okay. So here we go. Let's select here this one and add a new material, which is material filler. I used uh, some textures here and yeah, I will put a link into the description so you can download this one by yourself. Okay, let's press Ctrl Shift T and let's go here into the textures. And I want to use here these uh, metal plate texture. And I think we don't need a displacement prep right now. You can import this one, but I only use these normal map, uh, metalness and roughness here. These four textures, select this one here. And the Node Wrangler tool will do the rest for you which is cool. As you can see, the texture is not looking good right now here. What we can do now is uh, select this one, going into edit mode, select all the faces here right now and go to UV, smart UV project. And as you can see here now, this is looking better here right now. So, and you can adjust here the size if you want to. Um, so let's, I like to go here to something like this and maybe to something like this. Okay. That's looking really cool right now. And what we can do now is, um, yeah, change a little bit, uh, the roughness because I want a little, um, yeah, wet style for the whole scene. So. Um, first of all, I think we have to add here an HDRI. So um, I use always this easy HDRI plugin. Um, you can go here into the preference as well and search for easy, uh, easy HDRI. And when you enable this one, you can select a folder uh, with HDRI, HDRI files, and then you can create uh, world nodes. And when we are going into render mode here right now, um, this is the EV mode, you can see here, we have these cool environments here right now. Um, I really like this one here, so. Um, and yeah, let's uh, go back here into the uh, texture and let's search here for ramp color ramp and put this one into the roughness node here the roughness texture and the principal bsdf shader and now uh, when we are playing here around with uh, the white and the black one you can see that we are getting here more uh, more reflections and maybe Let's go with some, something like this here. This is really cool. And yeah, I said I, I will do this uh, for EV and uh, cycles as well. So maybe let's go here over to cycles and <clears throat> let's see what we can do here right now. But I think this is uh, looking good for both renders here right now. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's go on here by adding another material, which will uh, be the light here right now. So let's go here and select uh, this this tiny stripe here, and let's go here, press onto the plus, and create a new material, which is material. Um, 
pillar light and yeah let's assign don't forget to press assign so now the texture is uh, on this side here and on this side we can go here into the emission and um yeah increase here uh, this one to bluish white or something like this and increase here the strength maybe uh, let's go here back to the ev and we can enable uh, ambient occlusion bloom and screen space reflection as well as you can see here something is happening let's get rid of the harvest trace increase the trace position maximum roughness and decrease the edge fading and uh, yeah now now we are having here our light which is cool and EV you can see it's uh, glowing here in the dark but uh, it will not illuminate the whole scene um, but when we are changing this one here to cycles you can see right now that the whole um, not the whole but the scene is uh, illuminated by the light stripe here on our pillar okay i think that's cool and now when we are disabling here the pillar and enabling here the geometry node setup now you can see that's uh yeah that we are getting here a cool light for now i think that's good so maybe Let's uh, go on here with uh, the other lights. Uh, let's uh, head back to the material preview and let's disable the geometry node and uh, enable the light here right now. And I think we can add here another texture for our, um, yeah, for our lights here. So maybe let's press here on new material uh, light ceiling and I think I will go here with the metal metal texture um, let's uh, choose here not the displacement the roughness the color and the metalness and press K so we are having here a little bit of um some texture stuff going on maybe let's go into edit mode select all the stuff and go to smart uv project here right now and now you can see here we are having here these tiny scratches okay the light is hanging and <laughs> uh, at the ceiling but that's only for some details here um okay cool and now we are uh, doing the same thing here or a light here so let's uh, select this one press the plus button and uh, yeah press new which is the material or maybe we can yeah okay let's name this uh, light <laughs> uh, light right feeling okay that's weird light ceiling like light <laughs> why not and uh yeah we can enable here the emission to maybe something uh, let's go with the bluish again and the emission strength let's put this one up and now we are when we are rendering uh, I forget this to assign, sorry. So now we are, when we are rendering this one here, yeah, we are having here some another light. So maybe let's go here to the side cylinder, cylinder, and let's add here another, let's add here this material light ceiling to this one and to this one. And I think for this scene, it's okay to leave this 
And yeah, let's disable this one, enable our geometry node setup. As you can see, we have here now our lights. Let's go back into a render mode. And now we are having here some lights here. We had a much, much light here. That's cool. And later when we are rendering the scene, we can adjust here um, the brightness by uh, by adjusting here the textures. So maybe let's uh, put these lights a little bit uh, down. And yeah, I think we can do this later here right now. Because we have to, um, yeah, we have to add some textures here for our floor right now. So let's select this one here. Let's make a new material, which is material floor. And again, press Ctrl Shift C. And we want to use here this um, file setup here right now. So let's go here for the normal map, for the roughness, for the color. And I think that's enough for now. Let's select this here. And as you can see, we have here some really big tiles here right now. I think that's a 4K, 4K texture. That's that's a good quality for uh, this size here. And but I think we can go here a little bit uh, down, maybe to two by two. And as you can see here, the textures are not looking good on the sides. So maybe. Um, let's select here these faces, um, this one, <clears throat> and we can go again here to UV, Smart UV Project. And yeah, that's not looking so good here right now because it's a little scaled. What we can do now is here go into the UV editing tab and let's see the material preview here. And when we are selecting here these two arrows, we can see our selected textures here on the UV map. And what we can do now is easily press select, uh, press S, and uh, we uh, the X or the Y axis. And what we can do now is here scale this one a little bit down so it will fit here to our. Um, to our yeah to our floor so maybe uh, let's go here with this one and scale this one a little bit up and maybe we can put this one a little bit up by pressing G and yeah the Y axis and so that the tiles are here on the on the corner um, that's a little bit it's looking a little bit more realistic, I think. Something like this. Okay, cool. And again, um, what I like to do is, uh, let's hit here back into shading mode. And what I like to do is add here a little bit, um, a little bit of reflection. So maybe to something like this. And I want to add another principal BSDF shader because I want to add here some some puddles and uh, we can do this by adding here another um, mix shader node which is this one here put this one uh, into the first node and the next one into the yeah the second one and you can see here when you are scrub scrubbing through the factor um, yeah that's uh, one side it's really white and the other side it's this is our tiles and we want to mask this one by using here a noise texture which is uh, this one here so let's put this one into the factor and now let's search for a ramp again put this one here right now and now we want to crank this one down this one down here a little bit more so we are getting here more more contrast and maybe let's put the scale a little bit down to maybe something like this 
Okay. Yeah, this, this is looking good here right now. And what we can do now is uh, let's put the base color a little bit down and roughness down. What we can, what you can see here now is uh, that uh, the puddles are reflecting here right now. And when we are going here into rendered mode, you can see here that we are having a wet floor with some puddles. Yeah, we have, <laughs> we have a ceiling, but. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's uh, really cool, and that uh, that the texture here for the floor uh, looks not so r repetitive or repetile, rep repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. I think that's the word. The next one now will be here our yeah our ceiling, which is this one here right now. So let's add a material again, ceiling, and that's the last texture which we will import here today, and that's the that's the concrete here right now, and we are going with the roughness, the normal map. Again, the inclusion, but we don't need the inclusion, I think. So we don't have to use this one. And the concrete here, the color map. Okay, so let's import this one. Okay, as you can see, the texture is a little bit stretched. So what we can do now is let's go here into the scale. Let's put this one up here, maybe to something like four. And this one to maybe something like eight. So we are having here maybe to 10, I think. That's looking better here right now. And again, I want to add here a color ramp. So into the roughness channel and put this one a little bit down here. So we are getting here a little bit yeah, glossy reflection is, which is really cool. Uh, okay, so let's bring back here our trains right now. Um, maybe let's add here or maybe let's select one here and maybe we can um, yeah, make a little bit, make it a little bit uh, not so reflecting because I think that's a little bit too high. So let's increase the roughness to maybe something like this. And we can go here into render mode again. And I think this is looking better here right now. Okay, let's check this one with Eevee here. So it's a little bit darker because we don't have any light in the scene. And uh, we will change this uh, in the last tutorial. Um, but one tiny thing is when you're using here this um, this train, and we have here a glass material, which is here. Um, we have to enable uh, this refraction here. And when we are uh, enabled this refraction, we have to go here into the glass uh, material and enable here screen space refraction as well. And now you can see, or now <laughs> we can see here through our, um, yeah, through our train. Okay, that's all for uh, the texturing and shading part here right now. This was the second tutorial of this series. The next one will be rendering the stuff out with Eevee and Cycles. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, please let me know. See you next time and bye-bye.